if you're heading into Denver, the day is here for Denver workers who fall under the COVID-19 mandate to get their final dose of the shot to be fully vaccinated by the September 30th deadline. So this impacts nearly 10,000 workers, those who are employed by the city of Denver, and those who work in high-risk settings like long-term care facilities, shelters, hospitals, jails, and schools. As of the week ending September 6th, about 77% of those workers had received the COVID-19 shot. We also know that many are opting out due to medical and religious exemptions. Recently updated data by the city of Denver shows that 747 people have submitted exemptions from the health mandate. 465 of those have been approved, 57 denied, and the rest are still under review at this point. Now here's a look at the requirements for an exemption. For medical, it means you must have written documentation signed by a licensed treating medical provider, a nurse practitioner or physician's assistant, and that says that the vaccine is not safe for you because of a medical condition or other circumstances. The religious exemption is a little more tricky. Employees must provide a written and signed statement objecting to the immunization due to sincere religious beliefs, including why you're requesting religious exemption, the religious principles that guide the objection, and if you're opposed to all vaccines. Now that only applies to city workers. Other private sector employers have to create their own exemption forms. It's also important to note again that those still needing to get their shots today do get paid leave, both for getting the shot, guys, and then any side effects that result after as well. Yeah, because sometimes that happens. It You're does. Down for a couple me. of days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. For sure. All right, Mackenzie, thanks.